get ready with me. Okay, I'm gonna get ready for school. And I just got broken up with yesterday, so I'm trying to look good. It's 7.02. Bro, I need to hurry up. As long as my base is done quick, I don't mind. Okay, I should be sad because I got broken up with, but I already cried when I had to cry last night. <laughs> um, And then right now I'm not processing things because like the morning of, I don't know. We had already broken up. He broke up with me like two weeks ago. And then I cried all day. Like actually I broke down that time. And then today I was like, you know, I don't know. But I already cried when I had to cry and I'm not gonna let a guy's feelings affect my day and affect my life. Okay, my brows are browing. This is my natural eyebrow. Okay, no. Oh shit, it's currently 6.05. 7.05. After I the fuck up. La puta canción. This song reminds me of him. I don't care I'm blessed by anyone what about it. Good morning, guys. It is another get ready with me. But today is Friday, so I'm really happy that we actually made it through this week because it's been a long, exhausting first week. And this is only the first, first full week of school. And my mom is back from Dubai, so she's driving me to school today. And she signed me out early already, so I can leave early with my friends. So I only have to stay at school for like three, four hours. I don't know. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. So I made this little like trolling TikTok on my spam account because I'll be trolling on my spam account. Like it's a joke. I wouldn't post anything like that on this account. Everybody in the comments was just vibing, duh. Then there's, I wake up in the morning, right? And maybe if this was done at nighttime or in the middle of the day, I don't think I would have cared as much, but off the rip, like me seeing that in the morning, I was a little irritated. The comment was like, um, no, somebody counted the exact money. Well, it wasn't exact. They were off by a little bit. But the exact money that I had in the video. And they were like, um, what did they say? 290 is a flex. First of all, money is money is how I see it. It don't matter how much I got. It's money. So, two, I only wanted to show you 290. Let's remember that. That literally goes with the thing, like, as an influencer, we only show y'all what we want to show y'all. Y'all don't see everything. You only see what I put on the net. So it's just like, ugh. But that comment really sent me off, but it's okay. I, I ignored it because it was on off a of burner account. Like, you had to make another account to be miserable. You're already not on the same level as me. Because <laughs> I'll say what I need to say off the main. I know y'all be seeing my comments. Also, y'all, let me tell y'all something. Asia and I were having talks. Asia and I have, like, deep talks every night. That's one thing I love about our friendship. Because one thing about me, I love a deep conversation. Like, Asia and I will talk about, like, our goals, our future, like, things we're struggling with now, Christ, everything. Like, it's just genuinely a beautiful friendship that I'm so grateful for. But, yeah, we were talking. And, um, what's it called? Because one girl in our group, she already logged in. Lottie, y'all already know that. So now it may finna be Asia, so I'm like, damn, like, I'm just finna be the only one that's not locked in. If this isn't proof that God talks to you, I don't know what is. I'm scrolling on TikTok or Instagram, and there was this quote that was like, um, how did it go? It was like, you're not in a relationship because you can't keep the one you have with God. Like, you can't keep up with the one you have with God. I was like, that humbled me. I think that was the quote. It has something to do with that. And I sent it to Asia because I was like, yeah, this is a sign from God that I don't need to be rushing or looking for anything because I just need to focus on him. Like, that was so humbling. Like, I just need to prioritize him. And then he's got me. And then yesterday, last night, I got into a big fight with my father. Like, I was just so mad and annoyed because it's just like, you know when like, someone has anger that has nothing to do with you my dad is the type of person like if he's going through something everybody's got to go through something 
and eventually a person gets tired so i was like like i was like you're not like stop taking your anger out on me i did nothing too and then we were going back and forth <laughs> If there's one person who can keep up with me and arguing, it's definitely my dad. Yeah, I was just so mad. And then I'm just laying there. I hate going to sleep on bad terms with anybody I love. Like, no matter what in the argument, I will literally text you. Like, like I literally texted him, I love you so much. Good night. Like, I still love you. Like, I just want you to know that this is just something that we can, like, overcome. And it's nothing. Because you really don't know what tomorrow is. Because imagine you're in an argument with someone and then like something happens to them i'd be so sick to my stomach y'all i hear my mommy making me breakfast i missed her so much but y'all um i have that event this weekend if y'all remember what i'm talking about and i okay i can't oh my <sighs> okay but if y'all remember when i was talking to y'all about that event i have it this weekend and i'm so freaking excited like I'm so excited. And I will be vlogging, y'all. I was going to start the vlog, like, right now, today. Like, right now, right now. Because I'm leaving early today. But then... I don't know why I didn't start, actually. I love my playlist. But, oh, yeah. Y'all have been asking for my lip combo. I use anything NYX. Like, my other gel one is NYX. This is just black. And then I use this um, Kiss New York brown one to, like, lighten it up. I have A push first period, and my teacher calls on people who don't even raise their hands, so. I can't wait till we have a throwback day because this is just so tea, like. Also, y'all, I was thinking when I was in the shower, I was like how I'm so grateful, like, from the level up from pads to tampons, because honestly, like, I don't know what I would do if i didn't have tampons i used to be so terrified for like tampons until like my mom showed me how to use one no i remember the first time i had to go swimming i wanted to go swimming with my friend and sleep over and she and i was on my period and she said i couldn't go if i didn't put a tampon in i was like oh and fun fact when you're swimming you don't even have to put a tampon in because when you're moving i don't know you don't leave like i don't leave when i am moving in the water but yeah, I was just thinking about how I used to be so scared of tampons, but now I love it. Like, you barely feel anything. Oh my god, I forgot to put my skirt on. Like, you barely feel anything. And y'all, this the internet is so mean. Like, why lately I've been seeing so much people, like, judge what other people wear. Like, they've been complaining about, like, certain things other people wear. And it's just like, why do you care what somebody else has on? Like, I've never seen people so concerned. Like, it has nothing to do with you. Yeah, it's just so exhausting. But that's the thing with being on social media. Like, I'm posting my life out there, so I really can't get mad if I get judged. But, hey, it's life. I think I might tie my hair up, but that's it. Thank y'all for watching. I'm basically done. I'm done hella early today. But, yeah, I will see y'all on the weekend. I might vlog my day in a life on a weekend. Like, I will definitely vlog on YouTube, but I'm talking about it on TikTok. So let me know if y'all want me to vlog my weekend on TikTok. I hope y'all had an amazing week, an amazing, productive, blessed week. Stay motivated. Remember, you're doing this for your future, and everything will always get better eventually if it's not right now. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. Love y'all. Deuces. Get ready with me to go get my nails done for the last time in my hometown. I have been dreading this nail appointment because I love getting my nails done, but I don't like the fact that this is my last time ever getting them done at home. Home as in like my hometown, I don't get my nails done like at home. I just love my nail tech like so fucking much. This is gonna probably be one of the hardest goodbyes, but as you can see I'm missing like all of my nails. I practically ripped them all off last week because they were so grown out and I don't know, I just getting like stressed <laughs> so yeah now i have like naked nails but low-key i was like typing on my computer yesterday it is so much more like satisfying when you type with no nails on and it's so much faster and easier too i've continuously have had like nails on for the past probably seven months i forgot how to function and like how easy it is to actually function with no nails on it almost made me want to cancel my nail appointment but I couldn't do it. I love like having nails on for some reason. But I'm definitely going to be taking a break soon. It's just the fact that I have so many events coming up and like 
big things happening that I just want to have cute nails on. I also don't plan on doing anything too crazy for this set because my last set was so insane. They were so perfect. Don't know if you can tell, but they were like little seashells and stuff. They were so cute. But every time I do like crazy nails, I have to do a super simple set for my next set. Otherwise, I get like overstimulated. So yeah, I'm going to go for something super simple. I'm probably going to do like Hailey Bieber nails. I feel like you really can't go wrong with those nails because they're so simple and they'll like go with anything. Also guys, I just posted my travel vlog to Asia on my YouTube, so you guys can go watch that. My YouTube's linked in my bio. And then my next vlog is my moving vlog, which I'm so excited about. It's already like in the process. I'm filming right now, but I will edit it and it's going to be multiple parts. But guys, I find it so scary that these are my last final days in my room. Like, what day is it? Let me check the calendar real quick. It is 11 days before I'm out of here, which is so crazy. Like, I'm saying goodbye to a lot of my friends this week because we're all heading our separate ways, which is so sad. Okay, someone keeps ringing the doorbell and it's low-key, like, freaking me out a little. The other day, someone rang the doorbell and then I opened the door and there was nothing there. And then I opened the door again, like, five minutes later and a package was just there. Good thing I'm out of here in, like, a week. Bye. Hey, y'all, get ready with me for the third day of school. Today's picture day, I think I'm gonna bring another top, but I know my classes are cold, and I hate being cold. Got the hair done, so I ain't gotta do too much, man. This today is picture day, we is gonna, you know, do a little more than we've been doing, but not too much. By this point, we should know the skin. If not, go watch my other video. We already know. I definitely like my 80 classes better. B-Day yesterday, wasn't my favorite last two classes weren't bad but history mm -mm. history i had a whole lot of boys and a whole lot of there's nothing wrong with that keep in mind there's nothing wrong with that but it's like the duck ones um so i was the only black girl in the class and it was it was a little weird not gonna lie today i woke up in my sleep at like 5 50 and i tried to go back to sleep when i tell you i tried i fell asleep to music so the music was still on this morning and I, like it was just playing i could not fall back to sleep for nothing so now i'm just up early but i probably can give me some chick-fil-a uh i realized i've been seeing air perfect a lot sorry guys I'm trying to get better but um the lips are kind of already moisturized you know what? we're not going to do a lip combo today. we're just going to top it off with some gloss almost forgot the brows, y'all. Face is done. That's time to get into the hair. Because hold on. Ow. So we did them a little differently this time. We literally only left the front out because my hair is very thick. And I feel like the first time my mom did my hair, um, like you could see where my hair was. I'm going to go back in on some pieces and just straighten them. I'm gonna put, how am I supposed to put this on? I'm gonna just take the comb and like, really blend everything in. Kinda do a little bad action. I think that blended it a lot better now. If y'all cannot tell, this is my side that has the looser curls. This is my side that's coilier curls. All right, now we're going to do the edges. Here's the edge control. I've made plenty of videos. It's in my showcase. I don't want no questions. I'm trying to put my shoes on and I just broke my nail and it's just like this. So outfit. Here's the outfit. Have a good day. Bye. Hi guys, get ready with me for school. Okay, I just cleaned my face, like you know, with my regular face wash, and I usually put mister water after. But people said mister water can clog you out and you should like rinse your face after, but I'm just gonna put some water in this thingy and rub my face.
And next I use the azelaic acid by The Ordinary to help get rid of acne scarring. Sorry, about to turn the music on. And now we're gonna use the CeraVe AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion with Broad Spectrum SPF 50. Guys, if you actually didn't know, I'm Hispanic. I'm half Dominican and half Salvadorian. The only thing is, I'm an Osawa kid, but I can understand Spanish, if that makes sense. Like, I could talk Spanish, like, yeah, but my grammar, and sometimes I just don't remember words. But I understand Spanish, which is weird. Okay, I'm gonna put a pimple patch on this one. Not on this one yet, I'm waiting for it to come up. And that's really all. And I'm just gonna put a star one on that one like I always do. Because that one's just an ugly scar. Okay, time to do my hair. I think what I'm gonna do today with my hair is I'm gonna do a half up, half down. I think I'm gonna add a claw clip hairstyle. Or I could leave it like this. Like... But I low-key want to be so bad, one of those girls who have like those long loose curls and it's like voluminous and they just have it like that kind of, like the cold care sisters like that. But I bet we all do. Anyways, enough talking, let's start getting ready. Okay, first I'm gonna part my hair. Okay, this is not a good part, but I'm just gonna start like refreshing right here. <laughs> okay now we're gonna get some curl smoothie and then this is both my hair like a little i put it like damp and i'm just gonna put like a little bit for all of it well all of this i have a lot of hair okay next i'm gonna use some of the camille rose curl maker i'm just gonna show you how much just that much i think ganto coming on <laughs> Okay, I'm done with this side for now. I'm still gonna add some mousse and some oil, but I'm gonna start doing this. Okay, so I'm gonna start with spraying off the top. I'm like kind of spraying a little bit of my hair too. And I'm gonna start like trying to brush it back. Um, okay guys, I was trying to brush right here, but like the curl didn't want to get brushed through. So I'm just gonna have to put some paint drops over there. Okay, look, so to get the hairstyle first, I like put it in a ponytail for it to be like secure. And I don't know, do we like the ponytail better or should I do a claw clip? I'm gonna show you guys how it would look. I'll do this pink one since I'm gonna have pink hair today. Don't mind all like all stuff because that's just the hair wax and it's kind of be kind of gonna be covered anyways. Plus I can clean it. Okay, with it, it would look like this. I might refresh some of the curls right here or just add a little bit of water but right now i'm gonna work on like slicking this back and making it look better okay i think i got it pretty slicked down and right now i'm gonna like do this What the heck was just that? Okay, so I'm gonna just Bro, my words can't come out in Spanish for some reason. Like, I know the lyrics. Yeah, but like, I just showed you what was the problem was. I don't know. Like, they get mixed up, but like, I know what I'm supposed to say, but like, it just doesn't come out right. <sighs> I wish my parents taught me more Spanish when I was little, but. Okay, this is the hairstyle so far. Now I'm gonna do some baby edges. So, here, we're gonna take out my baby hairs okay this is how my hair is looking okay i want to try this because i see like everybody do it i'm just gonna add a little bit okay i don't know if i'm supposed to oh, okay yeah i'm supposed to like suck it down more i like get that 
shine look I think mm, but I'm gonna also add hold on, this much mousse to the rest of my head okay that's how it's looking so far and now we're just gonna get a tad bit of oil I think I still want to dry my hair so I'm still gonna put oil after so I just put like this much oil for the whole head Sorry, I made that face because I thought my oil was going to spill, but thankfully it did not. Look at this. Guys, I'm looking at this right here, like if I clipped it right here and like I let the hair loose right here, it would look, it'd look really good. I think I'm going to do that. Okay, I also added a bow. So, I don't know if this looks weird in the back. Can you see the claw clip still? <laughs> I don't know, if you saw my first day of school, get ready with me. I'm just like kind of obsessed with this hairstyle. I have always done half up, half down claw clips, but ever since I've done this one, I'm like in love with it. And I added a pink bow this time because I'm gonna be wearing a pink shirt. Okay, now I'm gonna put these moonlight or moonlight curl thingies in my hair. By the way, my hair is like 75% dry. You can only put this in your hair if it's dry or 75% dry. I don't know if I said this already, but while this is drying, I'm gonna clean my vanity. I wanna show y'all. It's kind of a mess, and I was like, I cleaned a little bit, like as I went already. Okay, sorry guys, I already went into my outfit, but I'm gonna start doing my makeup right now. And oh gosh, I really, really have to hurry. I'm already behind. Okay, so first I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows, cause I really have to hurry. And like, I'm putting this outfit on for the video right now. But when I go to school, I have to wear my clothes for soccer already and then after soccer i can change back into these clothes but i still want to do get ready with me so i change back real quick if i don't have enough time to change into my outfit today it's fine and i'm just gonna make my friends go to the bathroom with me and then i could just change in the bathroom real quick and then we can head off to practice because usually when we get there to school anyways the doors aren't even open so I'll make them go to the bathroom with me or something. And I'll just like change in the bathroom before we have to go in the locker room. Yes, I finally opened it right this time. But yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do because I don't want to rush today so much because um, I still have to go get some snacks for lunch and like fill up my water bottle and stuff. Like, yeah, I have enough time to go back and change right now. But you know, I just don't want to go in a whole big rush and I don't want to mess up my hair by like throwing my shirt off. <laughs> Putting another one on and yeah when it's just easier to do that really but i'm still gonna be hurrying well i'm so mad if any of you guys know the necklace i wear it usually has a heart and a b initial on it but i lost it at school yesterday <sighs> okay now i'm doing lift <clears throat> now I'm doing contour in Rare Beauty in the shade Happy Soul. Sorry guys. Now this is the NARS Light Creamy Concealer in the shade Light 2.4. I know you guys are telling me to get the pop one because it has more coverage, but like I kind of already bought this one. So I'm gonna try to use it a bit. I'm only gonna do my nose. Like that's the only place I'm gonna put like skin makeup on. I'm blending it in with this. One tiny spray. Okay, I don't have enough time, so I'm just doing it with a beauty blender. Okay, concealer and blush. I don't really think my nose did anything. Okay, spray. Now I'm going to just do the rest. Okay guys, this is the finished look. Hey guys, get ready with me while I tell you guys how my boyfriend cheated on me with my best friend. So my boyfriend and I did 
dated for around eight months. And I was for sure we were locked in, but I guess not. They obviously knew each other because she was my best friend and he was my boyfriend. And I trusted this girl so freaking much. So like a week ago, I saw them hanging out together. They were literally hanging out at her house, my best friend's house. Because I have volleyball practice and she doesn't play any sports. Because after I was done with volleyball, I had to drive past her house to get to my house. And guess who I saw there through the windows? Because she has a big house. Big windows. And I saw him. I saw my boyfriend. His car was even there. I started bawling my eyes out, no joke. Once I got home, I started bawling. I started to text my best friend. I started asking her, like, questions. The first question I asked her is, is Bo with you? She said no, but I literally saw him. So I didn't reply. I did not reply. I actually went, grabbed my keys, got in the car, and started driving to her house. Because me and my best friend have been friends for eight years. And I know their p door password, and I can get in whenever I want to. Her mom even said I could. And I usually would. Like, on random days, I'd just go in and sit there because we were close. So I pulled up in her driveway, got out, obviously, and went inside. I checked the whole downstairs first, and they weren't there, which made sense because her room's upstairs. So I walked up the stairs, and I could literally hear both of them laughing. Right when you walk up the stairs, you take a left, and then take, like, five steps, and then there's her room. Oh, her door was slightly open, but, like, like that, okay? Like that. And then guess what I saw? making out in her freaking bed so i went in to confront him and my best friend just started yelling at me to get out and then after i broke up with him i left and like cried and then around like two days ago i found out they were sending nudes to each other back and forth for about four months so i was basically getting cheated on half of the time we were dating who knows maybe longer but yeah, that's my story time, guys. Also, guys, you guys were pranked. First of all, my best friend is gay. And second, me and my boyfriend are locked in. So yeah, sorry if I wasted your time. Bye. Crumb. What I was trying to say in yesterday's video was um, in Katie Fang's... Oop, that was a lot. In Katie Fang's videos, she says, like, get ready with me in her caption. And when you press the translation, it translates to crumb. I also just washed my hair because I literally, it was getting disgusting. Like, I haven't washed it in so long. I was scared it was going to start matting. So I blew it out um, because, oh wait, I didn't even tell you what I'm getting ready for. I'm going to dinner with my family and I'm so excited because the place we're going has the best mac and cheese ever. Except Applebee's. Applebee's has good mac and cheese. Even though it's literally just craft mac and cheese. I don't, um, I don't want to put any clips or a headband in my hair because i don't want to dent it i literally took so long doing my hair i was like sweating it was so hot in my bathroom but yeah i was waiting for my mom to like fix my shirt because she like when my shirts are too big she like sews them so i was waiting for her to do that and then like my hair was just denting as i was sitting in the chair hopefully i could go over with a straightening iron because i'm so bad at straightening my hair like i just can't get it straight i think i'm gonna use my lumi glue I haven't used this in so long. And I actually convinced my mom to get some. She got it in the shade lighter than this. My brother is blasting his music, but I don't know why I'm running out of time so fast. I didn't even, like, do anything yet, but whatever. I was actually so mad when I realized I filmed that video yesterday in 2x speed because um, I, 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 I was so confused why it felt like I had all the time in the world. Like, I was talking so much, and the video was, like, just never ending and then i went to do a funny clip at the end and like i was gonna make it to x speed and then right at the end i realized that it was into x speed so that's amazing beauty blender time see like i'm already running out of time i'm actually so mad my hair is like dented now okay now i'm gonna do cream blush this thing is so hard to open i don't know why <clears throat> So you guys know how there's so many like makeup trends like latte makeup, dolphin skin, cloud skin. Now there's a strawberry makeup. Strawberry. Are you kidding me? Some extra powder from my brush. 
I am actually so hungry, it feels like I'm gonna throw up. Like, I don't even know why. Like, if I haven't eaten anything, why do I feel like that? I am actually so tired right now. Like, I spent all my afternoon, like, showering, getting ready, and now I just don't want to go anymore. It looks like I have a white mustache. I just did mascara, now I'm gonna do setting spray. Okay, I'm gonna use my Cherry Summer Fridays lip balm. I feel like no one talks about this one enough. When I got my vanilla one of this, like in November, it came with a lot and my pink sugar and cherry came with like nothing. Okay, I'm all done. Hey guys, get ready with me for a football game. So the theme is neon, if you can't tell. Um, but my hair, I need to like fix my hair or something. But I didn't realize how late it was already, so I kind of am in a rush because I should have started getting ready earlier. Also, we had a first pep rally today, and they, like, played all these games and then announced the homecoming things. But our homecoming is really early. It's, like, at the end of September. Also, I had a chemistry quiz today, and I got a 100 on it, so I'm really happy about that. Also, yesterday, I had my first volleyball game for the season, and it went okay. We didn't win, unfortunately, but it was still, like, a good game, and it was, like, close. But I got to play, and I did, like, I mean, at the beginning, I was really nervous, so I think I did, like, decent, and it definitely got better towards the end. Also, sorry, I haven't really been posting very much. It's because I have been so busy, and then I haven't had time to make Get Ready With Me's in the morning, but I'll hopefully start posting my normal amount soon. But I was thinking I was going to curl the ponytail part of my hair and then just leave, like, the braids in. But my friend is supposed to be here at, like, 5.30 to get me. And it's already, like, 5.15, so I don't think I have time. Oh, my gosh. I'm also wearing my pink shoes, but they're, like, a completely different pink, but it's fine. But also, we have, like, a pink out game, I'm pretty sure. So I don't know if I'm, like, wearing too much pink now. So I think it's officially safe to say that it's hitting that I'm in college now. Classes start in two days, let's talk about it. So yesterday my parents officially went home and we had a little bit of a baddie breakdown, but that's okay. In my past two videos, all I've been saying is I don't feel like a college student, I don't feel like a college student. Well, now I do. I think that last hug that I gave to my mom and dad like snapped from denial straight to acceptance with no other stages in between. Now I come from a strong family, like none of us are really criers. So to see my parents get so emotional, it's like, damn, it's real now. First off, welcome week is deceiving as hell. It almost makes you forget where you're at for a second. I'm thinking tonight is going to be our last night outside. Sunday, I'm not going anywhere. And I just got to keep reminding myself that no matter how good people are hiding it, we're all going through the same thing. Like, this is new for all of us. This is a change for literally all of us. Yes, this campus is insanely pretty, but is it my home? No. Yes, this room is insanely pretty, but is it my room? No. And guess what? It's not supposed to be. I'm going to take my own advice from the Five Promises video and embrace this change. Anyway, completely unrelated, but this pisses me off. Tell me why me and my friend are in this bobo shop yesterday. We walk in, we look at the menu, and this random girl goes, oh, we found the freshman. Not even like we had the GPS open, we were literally just walking and we saw it and we went inside and we looked at the menu. That's literally it. Also, we live by like all of the Greek life and they just moved in and you can definitely tell that they are here now. Also, this freshman 15 thing is literally a lie. If anything, I'm losing weight because we're walking like a million steps a day. Motion detected at the front door. My dad needs to turn that off. Like I was saying, I just got mad as hell because I remembered that yesterday, me and my parents, we went to get some seafood boil and I took off like my rings before we started eating and I left my rings on the table. Anyway, we are finished. Deuces, deuces, and deuces.